Hello, Reggie Hayes here with Expert Village. Okay, so we finally have all this home theater stuff hooked up. And guess what? Every component comes with its own remote. So you have all these remotes laid out on your coffee table. Now, probably not the best looking idea, right? Well, what you can do is buy one of these universal remotes. Now this one right here is a little higher end remote. It's a few years old, but it's still a great remote to have around. It does light up, you can see it right here. Uh, it is a touch screen LED, um, or excuse me, LCD screen. Uh, you have different options of uh, amplifier, controlling your uh, CD player, um, you know, things like that. I doubt the camera's going to be able to go in that far to see all these things, but uh, it does offer quite a bit of stuff here. So anyway, um, but basically the purpose of something like this, all right, you can take all these remote controls and program into this, all right. So first of all, let's talk about presetting on the remote controls, all right. Uh, this is a Sony, and I'm not plugging Sony by no means, but Sony is really popular among home theater systems as well as many other brands. Um, but some, most other brands will play each other's remote controls. For example, the Sony DVD player right here will operate a Sony TV. In other words, it doesn't need programming. It will already come from the factory ready to turn on any other Sony TV or Sony stereo system. So there's no programming needed. And that's a cool thing to have when you stick with the, your major brands on a lot of your home theater components. So <clears throat> that is one option, and you can have one Sony right here, one Sony remote right here that will operate everything.